Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Rocket and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be releasing my updated Valorant 3D model pack. This has been highly requested for literally years now, but I am finally releasing it. As always, it is completely free for you to download. Just head down in the description and click the link. There'll be a Google Drive link that opens up onto a page like this. And inside the pack, we have agents, including all the new current agents. I've been getting countless comments telling me to update my previous pack. I finally got the time to do it. So now we have all the new agents including Harbour, Fade, Neon, Chamber that were missing from my previous pack. All the old agents have been updated to use better quality meshes and better quality textures. So even if you are using my old pack, I'd still recommend downloading this new one. And this time around, all of the files are available for download individually. So you don't need to download one two gigabyte file like last time. I've also included a few extra bits and pieces, like some of the agent's utility, like Killjoy's turret, for example, or Jet's smoke. In each of the character's folders, you'll see there's a complex version, a first person version, and a simple version. And which one you use will depend on which animations you want to use. In the animations folder there will also be complex third person and first person animations and depending on which animations you need to use or how detailed you need the animation to be in your character will determine which model you pick. For the most part if it's like death cines or things like that then the simple one will be completely fine. They just have reduced bones, less facial bones and a bit easier to work with. Other characters like Viper will have more models available. In my previous pack I got loads of comments for people struggling to take the mask off so I've included three versions, one with a mask, one without a mask and one with the ultimate mask on as well as you can see the smoke grenade poison canister that kind of thing as well as we have all the agent animations and the weapon animations to go with it as well as all the standard weapons i've thrown in a few skins in there but there's really not that many and that's purely because i can't commit to the time to exporting all of those guns and texturing them it's just going to take way too long so as and when i need them for my projects if i'm texturing them anyway i'll just put them in the pack so you know check back in a few months or so and there might be a few extra ones in there but for the most part it's just going to be standard weapons if there are any that you do desperately need then drop a comment on this video and I'll see what I can do. And then I also chucked in a few little map files here. Now these are maps that I started making a couple of years ago before tools like Piana existed. So they're only small sections, I'll show you what they look like in Blender in a minute. But I'll leave a link to Piana down in the description which you can use to export whole maps. So there really should be everything you need to make 3D Valorant animations. If there's anything that you think is missing from the pack then please do leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to try and include it. Now I'll show you how to start using it. So we're going to open up Blender. If you don't have Blender head down to the description I'll leave a link where you can go and download it for free and we're just going to click off the screen to get rid of the splash screen and press a on our keyboard and delete all the default objects up to file append into the model pack and let's say that i want to let's say we choose to go with phoenix for example and double click on phoenix simple object select both the objects in here and append and you'll see phoenix is now in our project using the scroll wheel to zoom in and if you hold it down you can pan around you can see the model has now been successfully imported if i navigate over to the viewport shading mode you can see all the models come fully textured and ready for you to use. If you're going to be opening one of the map files then I do recommend opening them directly from the pack but make a copy of one so for example ascent b if i copy that and i'll paste it just so that i have a blank version in case i mess something up or want to reuse it later instead of having to re-download it again so double click on ascent b as you guys can see the map has now opened and everything appears to be successfully imported like i said i imported these maps and textured them by hand whereas now there's a blender add-on called piano which you can use to import full maps which again i'll leave a link to in the description but these are here just in case you either don't want to do that or just need something simple and if i add an HDRI to our scene, go back and switch to the rendered view in cycles. This is what the map will look like when you come to rendering it out. Now if you guys would like more in-depth Blender tutorials then please do let me know and I'll be happy to make some as I know it can be quite a difficult software to wrap your head around. As well as the simple versions of the models as you can see like this one. If I move this to the side and let's import the complex version. You'll be able to see here what the difference is. It's mainly just the face bones. So the complex models you'll want to use for something like their character select animation. Uh, as well as if you want to do any close-ups of their face and you need to manipulate the facial bones. Whereas with the simple version, you can open and close the mouth, open and close the eyes, and that's about it. These are much better for death cinematics, that sort of thing. As well as the simple and the complex models, there is also a first-person version of each of the agents as well which will be used for first person animations that sort of thing again if you guys want tutorials on this sort of stuff just let me know and now let's get into using the animations so for animating there are a couple of different types of animations the first one i'll show you will just work as is so we'll import jet for this one so we'll go with jet simple and we'll import that as you can see here we have jet now to import animations you're going to need an add-on it is a free add-on just head down to the description it'll be called the ps psk slash psa importer and once you've downloaded 
rendered it, come up to edit, preferences, add-ons, click install, find the .py file, and then when you search for PSK slash PSA, there'll be import, export, Unreal Skeleton Mesh. Just make sure this is ticked. And then over here in this menu, the PSK slash PSA importer will be available for you to use. So with the bones selected, if I come down to import PSA, navigate to the model pack and let's go into animations, agent animations, jet, uh, let's go simple and we'll search for uh, ultimate equip. So to the X here, stands for the x key which obviously is the ultimate ability now this top one x equip cosmetic should just work as is as you can see the animation is successfully imported just like this whereas some other animations will have lower body and upper body versions now you can see there's a slight bug with this animation where if you look at her arm it's sort of deformed if you select the the bones and if you download the piano add-on which you install just the same way as the psk one come to animation tools and you can click twist fix and then that will fix all of the all of the issues with the bones like that on this animation her face seems fine but on some others you will need to also do the face fix so that's animation type number one. Let's create a new project. I will show you what the upper and lower body animations are like. So we'll import Neon. We'll go with her simple version. As you can see, here is Neon. And much the same as before, we're going to select on her mesh. We're going to select her skeleton, import PSA. And for this, I want to do a Vandal reload animation. So we'll go to Agent Animations and you'll see there's a shared file. The shared file will be any non agent specific animations so running jumping crouching holding weapons all that kind of stuff so we'll go into shared and we want simple because we're using the simple model we're not using third per uh, first person there isn't a complex version of this animation so we'll just go with the simple one i'm going to search for reload and i know that ak is the code name for vandal so I'm going to start by importing the lower body animation. I recommend doing it in this order. So we'll import lower body, which is what LB stands for, and import. You'll see something like this will happen. Now, if I scroll through the timeline, you'll see the animation is actually there, just the lower half, but it's messed up the rest of the body. So to fix that, if I select the bones, come over to Piana again, animation tools, and click lower body setup, because we imported the lower body animation, you'll see it will then fix the top half. And now everything is fine. If you don't have Piana, then you basically just need to delete all of the keyframes that were not part of the lower body. Now all you need to do is select the bones, Let's change the timeline over to the dope sheet, make sure I expand this out and drop this down. And now you can see our keyframes. Select the mesh, come into edit mode, and we're going to select all the bones that are nothing to do with the bottom half. So we're going to leave her satchel bag as part of the lower half, uh, and we'll select down to here. So this is just the top half of her mesh. And you'll see if we then, if we come back to pose mode, you see all of these frames here. If we select them all and press delete, we now come back into object mode, back to the non-linear animator and push that animation down. Now with the bone selected, come back to PSK PSA import, click import PSA, back to our, where our animations were before. We're going to search for reload again, and this time we're going to do the upper body. So if I select that, click import, you'll see much the same thing will happen again. We come back to piano, we'll do a twist fix. Her face is going to need fixing as well, so we'll hit face fix. And finally, upper body setup. And you'll see now the upper body animation looks correct. And now all we need to do is push down that animation. And you'll see it doesn't quite look right yet. And the reason for that is because we need the lower body animation to override the upper body animation on the lower half of the body, if that makes any sense. So you'll see if I have the lower body selected over here, you can see blending is selected on replace. So if I pull this up next to it, and drag the upper body one down and bring the lower body back over the top. You can see we've got a slight error here. I think I might have accidentally deleted a keyframe on one of the spine bones. But it shouldn't be hard to fix just in case you run into this issue as well. You've got the lower body on top. If you right click on it with the with the track and the strip selected and right click and hit start editing stashed action and head back to the back to the dope sheet and in pose mode we'll find the bone in question so i believe i believe it's this one rotate that back so that she's facing the right way all right now i think that looks pretty good so i'm just going to hit i on my keyboard and then hit uh location and rotation and you'll see now if i scroll through the rest of the animation uh, that has been saved so we can go back to the non-linear animator and we can click stop editing stashed animation and now you'll see that it's fixed so if i go back to object mode and hide the bones frame zero and press space to preview the animation 
you can see that it looks completely fine. Now, what happens if you want to add a gun? So in this case, I've used the Vandal reload animation. So we're going to import the Vandal. So file, append into my model pack weapons. And we're going to look for, and we're going to look for Vandal, which happens to be at the bottom and go to object, select these and append. And here you can see we have the Vandal. So, uh, so with the Vandal skeleton selected, we need to apply the Vandal reload animation because any animations that concern the weapon. So for example, when the character cocks the gun back or when the magazine comes in and out of the weapon, that's controlled by the bones on the weapon itself. So, so we need to make sure we add the reload animation. Otherwise the gun's going to stay static. So with the skeleton selected back to the PSK slash PSA importer, click import PSA back to my model pack, animations, weapon animation, we're going to look for Vandal and we want the reload. So, so in this case, we're going to want the GNTP one, TP meaning third person. So we're going to select that and import. And you'll see now that the magazine will be removed and go back into the weapon. And you can see if you watch here, the gun will get cocked back as well. Now what we need to do is move the gun into the character's hand. So with the guns, with the gun's skeleton selected over to the right side, add an object constraint, child of eyedropper, select the skeleton of the character under bone type type in R underscore weapon and we're looking for R underscore weapon point and if we select that you'll see the weapon will jump right up into her hand. If I hide the bones again we now need to essentially rotate this gun so that it matches up. Now this point in the animation is kind of difficult to see where it's supposed to be. If I drag right back to the start of the animation you can see this will be a bit easier to see where the gun needs to go. Now you can see it's rotated sideways which obviously isn't right. So if I re-enable the bones again so you can see what I'm doing. Press R on my keyboard to rotate and we're going to want to rotate on the X axis in this case. So I'm going to press X and you'll see it's not quite going to rotate properly. And this is because we're rotating about the wrong point. So if you press X again, we will now rotate correctly. So I'll just line this up just like that and we'll hide the bones again to make it a little bit easier. If we sort of zoom in here, you'll see your hand is just about, I think it needs to go a little bit more. So R again, double tap X and we'll just straighten it up. And to me, I think that looks pretty much perfect. So if we preview our animation, takes the magazine out, pops it back in, cocks the gun back, and everything looks just like it would in game. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys did find it helpful or are going to download the pack, make sure you slap a like on the video and leave a comment with any future videos you'd like to see on the channel. Follow me on all my other social media. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.